Hello everyone. So I have got my weekly Amazon bin, um, bin store, uh, Amazon returns, I'm sorry, bin store haul for you today. Um, first I'm going to put some lotion on because my hands are really dry. I just got done washing the dishes for dinner. So, um, this is lotion that I had gotten on clearance from Marshall's. I think that was from Christmas. Uh, I'm not sure what the brand is. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's apple scented and I just love the little container that it comes in. So, all right, so let's get started. First of all, um, let me show you um, a present or um, in Filipino, pasalubong, that my mom brought back from the Philippines. So the tradition is that usually when you go on a trip, you bring back um, a gift or souvenir for um, family or friends. So she had gotten this done over at one of the malls. I'm, I can't remember which mall she said she went to, but she came across this little um, jewelry accessory type of store, you know, kind of like a Claire's, and saw that they had these wallets and um, found out that they will personalize the wallets for free if you purchase. So she got me and my sisters each um, a wallet done and also my sister-in-law with our names on it. And what I love is that, of course, a lot of people always misspell my name because they always think that the A is lowercase, but it's not. It's actually um, uppercase. And there is actually a space in between, but it's funny because she says that, but then on my birth certificate and the way I write my name, there's no space in between the O and the A. So it was funny that she was like telling them specifically put in a space in between, but it's okay. At least I got the capital A, which is important to me because I get really annoyed when there's no capital A and then they put an E at the end of my name. But um, anyways, it's a really nice uh, wallet, which I will use for travel. So I've got a pout, you know, a little pocket there. I've got the zip pocket back here for coins and it's pretty uh, roomy on the inside. There's a, there's no, uh, no pocket, additional pocket on the inside, but I figured this will be really good for travel, especially international travel because, you know, you get the bills. Sometimes the bills are not always the same size as like the American dollar. And then, um, you know, you'll get the coins and stuff. And like, for instance, like when I went to Japan, man, I didn't know that I was going to end up with so many coins because, you know, you, they're a cash based um, society. And yeah, I ended up with so many coins. And then, you know, I was because they have like the 100 yen, then there's the 500 yen and stuff. And I was drinking a lot of drinks from the vending machine. So something like this would be perfect, like I said, for travel. And I like the color that she chose for me. So yeah, I just wanted to show that because she just got back from the Philippines this past Sunday. All right, so let's get started. This is not all the stuff. Um, I've got it in the bag behind me, but I was just clearing out my desk and put this on here. So I went on $2 a day, $1 a day, and 50 cent day. Um, I will show you first what I found for $2. This right here, it was not in the box, but when I picked it up, I had a feeling that it would work with the current camera that I'm using right now to film, which is the Canon M50. And when I did see that this was the battery model, I knew, I looked up my, actually, I, I looked up on Amazon just to be sure. And yes, this one uses the battery. One of them is missing because it's currently in the camera right now, but um, I've already got, um, a charger. I've got this one right here, which came with the camera. This is the OEM, the original manufacturer of the Canon. This is the original Canon battery. And then, um, I wonder why then I had also purchased, um, backup batteries, which came with a charger. Now that I'm looking, no, I can see now why this battery doesn't last long because it's only 675 MAH versus the backups are 1150 MAH. And honestly, they, it doesn't really last long, but these right here, I was excited because it's 1300 MAH. And um, I've been filming with it so far and yeah, it's, it does seem to last long. I like the fact that with this charger, I can use my phone um, charger with it because it takes USB-A and USB-C. So I don't have to worry about um, 
you know, oh crap, I forgot the, you know, the cord. I mean, this one's great because it's kind of pocket size and, you know, I can just plug it in the wall, but the fact that this can charge three at the same time is even better, you know? So I could, so I could actually put this in there and, you know, and go ahead and charge. So, um, let's see if it should fit, even though it's not the original. Oh, wow. Maybe it, there we go. Yeah. So I will definitely be bringing this with me when I travel. So I was pretty excited, $2, and this is like $30 on Amazon. I mean, I don't, I don't think it was used at all. It was brand new. Like I said, it wasn't in the box. I didn't have, it didn't come, I, I couldn't find the original, you know, cord that it came with, but who cares? I mean, like I said, uses USB-C, I can use my phone charger. So I found this. I believe this was not on, when did I find this? This actually was from last week on 50 Cent Day. Now, um, I only got one pack. I did see like three other packs. It says on here, they're glittery hologram for laptops and it said fantasy. So when I went up to the table to take it out and look at it, I found that they're, you know, I probably should put this up against something here. Hold on. Um, there we go. They are holographic and they have a lot of, yeah, like it says fantasy, you know, new age. I don't know. I can't think of what the term is, but they're really, really cute. And I put actually three on my water, um, two of my water jugs. Um, I have iron flask and I like how they, you know, they stand out against the darker background, but, um, yeah, there's a lot of pieces on here. Um, I mean, I could put it, I could put it on my laptop. Um, I just wish it'd be easier for me to show you what they look like. Yeah, because there's no picture, just a spiritual beast, which is kind of funny. Um, but they're, you know, they're kind of like Zodiac horoscope related and then um, Tarot related, kind of like that. So today I did find these. These are collage packs. So I was able to find four and I got them for 50 cents each. So these are really great for the journal because they are... Um, they're a little, they're almost like vellum in a way. So they're see-through. So it's not going to really show up well with like some of the collage stuff that I do, um, like on the tags and all that, because I'm already um, layering a lot. But in a journal like the Hobonichi or like the Traveler's Notebook, you know, where you're writing and stuff, these will work out really great. And there's a lot in a pack. Um, it doesn't really say, but um I've been coming across a lot of these. I'll, I'll, when I pull the rest of the stuff out of the bag, you'll see. Uh, this one I saw when I went on $1 day, but I threw it back. It's actually a stamp. And so when I went back today and it was still there, 50 cents, I thought, well, why not? I mean, it's, it's really pretty. So I guess this is holiday related, you know, Christmas. And it's a pretty big stamp. So yeah, not bad for an acrylic stamp. All right, so let me get this bag because I've accumulated some stuff here. All right, found this on $1 day. These are wax beads. Um, it's a kit, a little kit. Didn't come with any seals, but it came with a spoon, okay, the wax spoon, a metal one, which seems pretty good. It came with tweezers, which was interesting, I guess, for you to be able to pick up the hot wax after, if you need to. And then here are the um, wax beads that it came with. So not bad for, um, what, $1? Yeah. So I can always use more wax beads in different colors that I don't have. So, because, you know, like when I'm doing them, I'm probably using four beads at a time. So, yeah, if you're going to be doing a lot of wax um, seals, you're going to go through them pretty fast. So did pick that one up. Um uh oh, where's the other one? Okay, I was so excited because yesterday, not yesterday, I found this actually on $2 day and I didn't want to risk leaving it there because it may not be there when I get back. I found washi sets. So I found this one first and I was just like, oh man, somebody had ripped it open, took it out of the pack packaging and then I looked underneath a lot of stuff just right where I found this and found an unopened one. So that's great. I'm not going to open that. So I'm going to show you what's in there. So I noticed that there was some missing. There's supposed to be 20 stamps. I mean, 20 stamps, 20 rolls. And there was one, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There were two missing and I couldn't find it on the table, but that's okay. Cause like I said, I have a, a full set here, but they're just beautiful stamps. Um, this one is so nice. And I've already started using them in some of the um, ATC cards that I'm making. So this one is, I think the, this one's called, yeah, everything has a sound story collection series. That's the theme. So for $2, not bad. Hey, I know that these probably go on Timu or Shein, AliExpress, probably for, I don't know, $3 or $4, you know, something like that. So that was a good find. I was really excited about that. I found this one yesterday for $1 and it's a um, celestial theme, you could say. I haven't even opened it. And it probably has 20 in there as well. But this was at a different store than where I found this one. Um, yeah, I haven't even... How do you take... Oh, okay, there's tape. Uh, do I have a cutter here? I guess I'll have to use this. Oh, now that's cut the plastic. There we go. Oh, of course, the other side as well. Sorry. <laughs> I should have, like, checked this before I started filming here. Um, all right. So let's take it out and look at it. Yeah, these are actually, um, they're nice because I was wanting, what is that? Oh, it's just the way that it was cut. I was wanting to do a celestial theme ATC, and um, you get a fairly decent amount of tape on here. And these will work out really well. I love the colors because my favorite, my, one of my favorite colors is purple and all shades of it. I like violet as well. So yeah, this will definitely work. Okay. So we got that. I'll just put that here. Oh, I found this toothpaste today for 50 cents. It was in a box. I took it out. I've never, I've never tried this, but I've seen this over at Marshall's and TJ Maxx. So I was just curious. I mean, hey, it's 50 cents, so why not? Okay, so what else did we find? Oop, that fell out. Okay, this just fell out of the bag, but um, I was able to find this for a dollar, this whole set. And these are sticky notes, but they're the transparent ones, and it claims to be photosensitive, meaning that they'll change color under UV light. Now, um, I tried it. I didn't really see a change in the color, but then again, I was like standing next to the window and it was rainy today. So, you know, there's like what, 50 sheets per, um, per pad. So these will work out. Okay. And I will we'll definitely give some to my friend, Clarissa. You'll get a pack of each color. So we've got that. Um, what else found this? Yes, these are midliners by Ze um, Zebra or Zebra. And it's a pack of 10 pens, but they're all the same color. It's the peach. And I got this for a dollar. Okay. So I don't think I have, well, hold on here. This is my driver's license renewal. <laughs> so let me just, yeah. So yeah, it's just a light pink. I'm going to give some to my nieces if they want to use it. I mean, yeah, I don't need 10, but it's always good to have. So whenever I start working again at my new job, um, I can bring those and use those. All right. So what else did we find here? I found, I found this. This is a planner. Um, I'll take it out. I'm trying to get rid of all the trash here at the same time. Okay. So I saw this. It's an organizer planner type thing. It says 12, um, 12 month planner. Okay. Found this for $2. Now, um, I didn't really buy it for the planner part. I really bought it for the binder itself. So, um, because I have, I have some ideas of what I want to do. But anyways, this was already packed up and separately inside. And so I was curious. So I went ahead and opened it and I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put them on the rings after looking at it. This is what it looks like on the inside. Okay. So it 
it's like a weekly planner. I think I can show you. I have to just be in frame here. Just don't want it to fall. Okay. It's really cute, right? Okay. So it's an undated planner. All right. And um, then I noticed why <laughs> it was returned. Because for some reason, they forgot to punch the last hole here. Which is okay, because I do have, um, I do have a hole punch. Um, I think I have, um, I've got a three-hole punch type of thingy. I forgot what the name of the brand is. or it, It's a... It's not like a regular hole punch. Not like it does come like this. It'll punch like this in threes. So I'll just go ahead and just punch them, you know, and um, just leave it in there. But I plan on actually using this binder for um, something else. I need to, first of all, I need to find the um, clear pouches because I kind of wanted to use it for um, storing like stickers and um ephemera because it's that's been my biggest thing right now is trying to figure out a better way to store ephemera um because i have so much of it and um i just hate that i have to keep it you know in containers like this okay these i got from dollar tree three years ago probably four years ago actually um they were a dollar at the time, and they were really originally um, sold to store your mask, right? And when I saw them on, somebody had posted about it on Instagram, I went to numerous Dollar Trees and bought up however many I could find. So I still have a good amount of these, but um, I like, you know, I, I've been storing like all of the ephemera this way, but it's just like, it's just harder to store it that way because, um, it takes up a lot of room, you know? So yeah, I, um, I'm going to see if I can try to do that in like clear, in the clear pouches here. Actually, let me give you an example because this one I showed in a previous video. Um, so here's an, yeah, like this, I wouldn't put like a lot, but just like this, these are cash pouches for those people that, you know, um, they do that. I can't even think of the name of it, but where they, they like save, they put cash in every week or something like that. So this, this had already come with them, but that's how, kind of how I want to do it. So these collage sets would actually work for this because there's not many of them. So yeah, but I need to find them for the A5, um, size. I think that's A5. It's gotta be, um, actually I'm going to be right back. So. All right, guys, so I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had a phone call. Um, anyways, so uh, where was I? Oh, let me move my phone here. I was on about the, I think it was the midliner. So um, the next thing I'm going to show, what is this? Um, I don't know if I ever showed these. I don't even know. Yeah, so I think I might have ordered. No, I don't think I did. So anyway, so these are some ephemera packs that I had found. Um, they're like, uh, what do you call this? Like film prints? Color slides. There you go. They're color slides. And um, there's like six sets. It's kind of interesting. They're a little dark. But then again, actually, let me take it out. These, I think they're sticker. So if they are see-through, then it shouldn't be too dark. Oh yeah. So it's kind of like, let me find some white background here. Here we go. Um, and I will focus. So there you go. Yeah, they are dark. Even though it's like almost like on vellum, it's, they were printed pretty dark. I never did develop slides when I worked at a photo lab, but... I know that this is too dark if it was an actual slide. So, but it's still, this will be interesting. I think it is sticker backed. Yeah. So this will look good, especially in a journal more so than for collage work for junk journals and stuff. So, um, so yeah, got those. 
Okay, I'm going to put them back in the box. I have to, like I said, I was trying to figure out a better, um, like, storage management, you know, for this type of stuff. So, on to the bag. Um, what else we got here? So, here's some more collage um, stuff that I found. I'm sorry, I had moved the camera, so I don't know if I'm in frame or in focus. So there we go. So I want to make sure that this is not the same. Oh yeah, it is. So that's two. And I'm pretty sure that that's, wow. So basically I've got two of each. Clarissa, you're getting a set of each of these because <laughs> I don't need that many. Um, let's see. Okay. So I got really excited because when I was there on, I want to say it was two dollar day i found this now i found two of them the way that i found it in the bin it was like the second bin that i had come across um, that i went through they were scattered all over the um the table and um i had just seen these in paper terraces uh, temu hall and she was talking about how you know these are she was going to use them and stuff so they're they're like stamps but they're you know movie related or TV or anime related. And they're really, um, they're really cool. They're stickers. And like I said, they were scattered all over. Somebody had opened a box. And then while I was look, gathering them all up, I came across another box that was not open. So I was able to get two of these and I've already started using them. And I like them. They're uh, pretty nice. So gosh, it keeps coming out. So yeah, so I did pick that up. I was so happy to find this for a dollar. Um, it's an ephemera pack and it says here there's 260 pieces. So I think I found another pack like it too for 50 cents on the other day. Let me see if it's in the bag. Yeah, here we go. So here's another one from a different store. Actually, this was uh, the 50 cent one. This one was the dollar. And it's funny because I had gone to that store the day before on $2 day and didn't see it. And I know why I didn't notice it because of this car that was on it. But I grabbed it and then I kind of noticed it had said vintage and then scrap. And so I thought, uh oh, that's got to be scrapbook related. So, um, so I was able to take the card out and found that, yeah, it's exactly the same pack. So I got two packs. So Clarissa, you're getting one. Um, yeah, they're exactly the same. <laughs> Only difference was 50 cents. Um, so that was kind of cool, but I hope I don't come across another one again because I don't need that many packs. I would hope that it's a different, um, you know, a different theme this time. So let's see. This one I found for... Uh, one dollar. They're just various uh, wood pins. Hadn't even opened it. Hold on. I got these yesterday. So I can use this to glue onto um, stuff. I'm not going to actually use it for sewing. Um, I like that it came in this little box, but they're wood and they're just different ones. Really nice. Not bad for a dollar. Oh, I don't need to put it in the plastic. I need to start taking stuff out of the plastic. Uh, what else here? What is this? Oh, this was um, 50 cents. They're luggage tags, and I can always use more luggage tags because every time I go on a trip, I take off the tags for some reason on my luggage, and then I can't find them. So they're orange, which makes it stand out, and they have the... Uh, little loopy things there. So there was like 10 in there. So yeah, every time I misplace my tag, I know I have backup. So I'm going to put that over here. I'm not going to put it on the desk. Um, what do we have here? Um, I did find these chargers for $1. I can always, like I told you in the past, use more chargers because I give them to my family. So there were two in a pack. Um, I've already put one actually in my laptop bag. Gosh, I'm trying to take it out of the plastic. I'm just rip it off. So this one is really good because it's USB-C and then two US, USB-A, you know, and um, yeah, just, you know, your basic charger. 
So we got that. Um, what else we got here? Oh, I found this. I don't know if I featured it. I think this was last week. It came with these like Valentine cards, but I threw those out because I didn't really need them. But I really wanted them for the, um, the beads because they're really pretty. And um, I was going to use them on the ends of my TNs, you know, on the bookmarker thingy. So that's what it looks like. Let me make sure I'm in focus. Uh, where? There we go. Okay. I don't know why or what's going on with the um, display on my camera. Better not be messing up. Okay. So got that. Found this one today for 50 cents. Could always use <laughs> tweezers for brows. Okay. Travel size. Um, what is this? Oh, this was also... 50 cents. It's a four port hub. These always come in handy. You never know when you're going to need, especially like when your laptop only has so many ports, you know, and you need to um, plug it in. Sometimes it's harder to find like the old USB A ones because all I ever come across are the actually, no, no, no. Maybe I should take, yeah. Um, for some reason, my computer at work, I had to get one of these and all I keep coming across that I had were the USB-C ones. Um, and so, you know, this is always good as a backup in case my other one fails. And let's see what else I got here. This one was interesting because, um, never know if my nieces and nephews want to use it for Halloween. So it was labeled as a, um, steampunk. So it came with the goggles. I've seen these goggles actually over at Hobby Lobby. In fact, I just saw them today. So they look like that. You know, they looked already distressed. And then I was curious as to what was in the box. So it comes with this little um, bow tie that has like the cogs on it. Yeah, so steampunk. Got that. And then it came with another pair of goggles, which was interesting because I already have that one. And then it came with these gloves, which were kind of cool. Um, so, you know, they're adjustable. They're kind of big. I mean, if you look at it like that, they look just, it's kind of cool, right? So yeah, that was a uh, $1. <laughs> yeah, so well, I don't know. We'll see if, um, if it's something that can be used in the future. I mean... I don't know what I'm going to do with these two sets of goggles, but I just thought it was pretty cool to have. So I'm going to file that away in the attic. And was that it? Oh, no, I still have some stuff here on the side. Hold on. Okay. So on $1 day, I found... Now, the case didn't come with it. I That's a case that I have. I found these readers. So I do have to wear readers. Yes, I'm old. And um, let me make sure I'm in focus here. There we go. So these are uh, 1.5 um, grade. And I like them because they're pretty sturdy compared to my other readers. And weirdly enough, they're much more clear than my other readers. So, and um, this was so cheap, but yet better quality than the other ones that I have that are like $20. Now I don't know what to do with those because <laughs> I really like this. And in fact, I turned around and went ahead and ordered um, from Amazon a set of five because they were on sale um, with the spring sale that Amazon's having right now. And this case actually came um, from that sale. In fact, where is it? Oh, it's not here. I think it's in my room. But anyways, um, they are different colors. I tried to order exactly the same one because, like I said, I like the quality of these. But I think the um, the frame is just slightly different. This one fits my face really well. So I really like that. I keep these in my purse or my, my um, belt bag or whatever you want to call it. Because, yeah, sometimes I do need to wear them when especially there's low light. Um, yeah. Like I said, old age. I found these for $1 day. These are laces. Um, 
Now, they're going to be good for like decorating and stuff. But what was interesting about these is that they're elastic as well. Um, I don't sew. Uh, I want to learn how to use the sewing machine. But in the meantime, I guess I could glue them down. So here we go. Really pretty. Okay. And see, it's stretchy. And you get a, a fair amount. So I'm going to gift some to my friend because I know she will use them for her junk journal. So we got that one. Okay. That was really pretty. And then we have this smaller one here. Um, they had a black one, but it was really, really big and wide. And I don't need wide. Um, if it was black like this size, then yeah, I would have got it. So we get up really close. There you go. So, yeah, I don't really buy a lot of lace because I don't really use it all the time, but it's just good to have just in case. Uh, what else? So I found these patches. It was, a, I got, I, I made sure to wait until $1 a day. So it's a set of four. They're Taylor Swift related. I am not a Swifty, but I, I enjoy your music, but I'm not a Swifty. I have nothing against Taylor. I'm just a little sick of the whole coverage of her and that Travis dude or whatever his name is. I don't care for football, but, um, and I don't really think he's all that, but anyways, um, yeah, I thought these were really cute. Make it like this and then her on the guitar. Okay. Hopefully that's in focus. I was like, do I want to put this on my TN? But then I don't have any room. But then again, do I want Taylor on my TN? That is the question. Yeah, see, because of the way that I've placed stuff. So um, I don't know. We'll see. I have an A5. I may put that on, um, maybe put one of her on there, but we'll see. But I thought they were really interesting. I just like the, the design of these. So there were only four. I've come across a lot of patch um, sets in the past, uh, but I just haven't seen any really good ones lately. And this was the only interesting one. Um, I did get this roll here. Now it's not been opened. So this one I got for $1. Yeah. I was like thinking, I was like, what day did I get this on? It was on dollar day because I'm not going to pay more than that. So they're just thank you stickers. And I know that if I do sell some stuff on Macari, um, I can use these stickers on the stuff. So I thought something good to have on hand. Found this on $1 day. There were a whole bunch of packs on $2 day. And then when I went back, I could only find this one. So they're envelopes. Um, they're just... Is it paper or vellum? It feels like it is vellum and they're really cute. So if you want to like use it for stickers or as a pocket, you know, put stickers in to send to a friend or whatnot. That'll work. I don't know how many is in a pack. Uh, it just says it's two by three, four and a half. It does. Yeah. It doesn't say how many in a pack. Um, found this. There's an, there's one that I've already got at my desk. So I knew what this was when I saw it. So they're basically like binder clips, only that you clip them kind of onto um, the paper. So let me see if this is the one that I had opened. I think it is. Okay. So you basically would insert the clips in here. Okay. So they would go down here, right? Let me take it out. And um, actually they go right, yeah. So they go here, okay? I hope I'm in focus. <laughs> and then you would push it onto um, the pack. So I'm trying to find something here. You would just like, let's say, and it would clip on, okay? So these are what the clips look like. I have to stand up just to be in focus. Okay, there you go. So they're like binder clips, only that, yeah, you you clip it. So I just thought they were really cute. I wish I'd found them when I was still working because I could have used these at work, but that's okay. Um, there is some stuff that I do print out here at home that I can make use of this. And, oh yeah, 
tax time. So I definitely got to do my taxes and I will um, use it for that. So, and I got that for a dollar. Not bad. Uh, what else? Oh, so I found these. So I found three of them and I waited for a dollar day. Um, there were only three left. When I saw them on $2 day, they were a sh shit sh sh ton. Okay. So there are these little albums, right? They were actually, um, marketed for like Instax and, you know, Instax were like two and a half by three and a half, but I use it for my, um, ATC cards. And that's just an example. So, um, yeah. And it can hold like a ton. So if I ever do start, you know, trading the cards, I definitely have room to store it. And I like the to store it like this. And I like that it comes with a case and you can just, you know, slide it into the, um, the book stand, I mean, book stand, the shelf. So I think that is everything. Yeah. I'm just looking around just to be sure around me and looking at the bag behind me, because that's supposed to be all trash. Um, yep. That's everything that I've found this week. That was either $2, which was not a lot, mostly $1.50. All right. So I hope everyone's having a good week and a good weekend. And I will see you on the next video. All right. Bye.